The passing of George Floyd has launched protests all over the country, and some conversations are starting to be had, and let's hope there's more of them. We wanted to join this important dialogue, so we turn to three members of our extra team, each has a unique perspective on what's happening in America right now. We're always reminded of the past deaths of people that look like us. It's hard to deal with, but I, I love the fact that I don't feel bad for dealing with it out loud anymore. Same thing, you don't wanna always be talking about race, but it's always in the back of our mind. Every day. Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Amidst social change, our Nate Burleson, Chesley Christ, and producer Darius Brown are sharing their personal experiences with race and what America can do to shift the narrative. I remember when I was still practicing law full time, where I walked into the deposition early in the court reporter was like, do you know when the attorneys are going to be here? And I was like, well, I am. I'm the attorney. So yeah. we're here. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you still have to maintain professionalism. That's what we have to do. We have to swallow all of these little incidents. But then when you see a death happen over and over again, it's like opening up wounds. So. When we talk, we just want you to listen, understand, and if you truly, just truly have a heart beating in your chest, that empathy and understanding will turn into action. At the NFL, I mean, the league is 80% black. I feel like the NFL, you know, has an opportunity right now in this country to make a point against racial injustice and make an impact. It's not just like football players, it's celebrities. It's uh, the Miss Universe organization who encouraged me to openly talk about what's happening. It would be hypocritical to celebrate our blackness, to celebrate five queens and then shut us up when something happens. And I think all of us have a platform. If we, as older people within our own culture, take the responsibility to teach our youth who they are. So if you're taught, you know, slavery was once a thing and then black people are so strong, we, we broke the chains and we're free, but you're not taught about the royalty that is also in your history, then you might not look in the mirror and see yourself as a king or a queen. But if we're taught that, then we expect that. So conversation, it's happening and I love it. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.